Hi Leos, this is your reading for the 6th through the 13th. This reading is to see who this person is that is uh, in your energy and what they want with you. We're going to start with some Romance Angels cards just to give us a foundation for the reading. Let's see. Please give me some messages for Leo. There's a card that's just wanting to come out here, Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This could be sexual addictions. This could be drug addictions, alcohol addiction. Um, this could just be codependency. Relying on someone to, to fulfill something in you. Um, this could go either way. Both ways, even. <clears throat> Let's see. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I know a lot of times, Leo, you know, you, you guys have this idea of what it is that, that you want and how you want it to come. Um, you want what you want. A lot of times it's most of us, but um, I think it's, it's, it's more prevalent in somebody that is like truly a Leo and exhibits Leo characteristics over any other sign because uh, Leos are very like dominant, um, very, very alluring and not superficial, but superficial. You know, somebody has to look good. They have to present well. Okay. So keep in mind that if you're looking for something really, um, <laughs> really deep, then you may have to look a little bit deeper, you know. <clears throat> Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah. So, again, as far as you, you how you perceive someone, um, this relates to how you put yourself out there as well. If you're wanting a certain caliber of person, what I'm getting from this is that, um, you know, maybe not try to rely on your looks so much as well. Okay. Because I'm sure that there's more to you guys than what meets the eye. There's more to other people as well than what, than what meets the eye. Right. So... Um, giving people a chance and you'll be surprised how much people will give you a chance okay what goes around comes around chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here talk and get to know people because looks fade right most definitely all right, guys, so I'm going to pull up an advice versa tarot. You can't see me, but when I shuffle and pull these cards, my eyes are closed because there are images on both sides of these cards, um, and I keep my eyes closed. So I won't see, and I won't be biased, all right, to pull a certain card. So my eyes are closed, guys. Let's see. Who is this person? that one and this is the three of swords on the reverse side though this is leo not leo but aquarius energy here this is not aquarius energy i don't know why i always want to say three of swords is aquarius energy i do feel like there is an aquarius here when i do um speak like that i feel like there's a reason why so Although this is a Libra card, I feel Aquarius is very significant for some of you here. But this is somebody that's thinking about how much they miss you, how much um, they hurt you, that they broke your heart, they feel bad about it. Somebody wants to tell you um, the truth about something. This could have been someone that uh, cheated on you, had you involved in a three-party relationship, if that's the case. You probably already know it or you suspect it okay what is that one mm, six of wands i feel like this is somebody that um 
they really are not confident in who they are. They're not confident that they're attractive. Um, they're not confident that uh, you feel that they're attractive. This is somebody that's really kind of sulking right now. This is Leo energy. I feel like this person really wants, wants acknowledgement from you. Because they don't feel good enough for some reason. And if they cheated, that's 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 why they cheated. That's no excuse for them cheating. But that's the that's the reason behind it for a lot of you. Is that they didn't feel like they were living up to your expectations or they weren't good enough for you. So they have to go out and seek attention from other people to make them feel good, which is no excuse. Okay. And then we have the full. Somebody that feels, they feel foolish for walking away. They feel foolish that um, they didn't, they didn't give you a chance. They made a mistake because I'm, I'm feeling like somebody here um, played the field. They played around. They were looking for something validating. Because I get that they need the validation. They went in search of that. Hmm. Then we have a star. They see you for who you are. Aquarius energy. They see you. They miss you. They they think about the good times that you guys shared. This person is really full of emotions. Um, they wish they could do things differently. They feel like you guys are their soulmate, but they feel like they've messed up. They feel like they've really messed up. I feel like they've had a lot of light nights of... Um, of, of crying and dreaming about you, thinking about you, everything reminds them of you. Hmm. Get some clarifications for these cards for you guys. Yeah, that is the Ace of Cups right there. This person loves you. They love you. Five of Cups fell out, but it fell out like that. Which is in the reverse for me. I know it's right side up for you guys. Um, but I feel like this person, you know, they they are so sorrowful for what they've done. But I don't, they feel like you're not going to take them back. That you're not going to um, forgive them. And I don't think when they went in search of whatever it was that they were looking for, validation, someone else to like, you know, acknowledge them dating or whatever, they didn't find it. It's, it's only you. This person is still wanting to be with you. <clears throat> Scorpio energy is here. Aries is here again. And um, we have the Four of Wands here falling on top of the Fool, which is Aries energy. And um, this is about them wanting to be happy, wanting to, um, uh, they were in search of happiness, stability, someplace where they could feel uh, at home, acknowledged. I feel like this person feels quite at home with you. And the King of Chalices, I feel like this person loves you for sure. They've had a lot of emotional um, situations and experiences since you've been gone or since they've been gone. I definitely feel like this person views you guys as their soulmate, as a person that um, they're supposed to be with. They view you as a person that they're supposed to be with. Scorpio energy. Aries energy. What happened here? 
Who, what did they really want with Leos? What did they really want with my Leos? Temporary problems. I think they want to discuss the fact that, you know, they went through something and, um, and they made a mistake. They made a mistake in what they did. They made a mistake in how they viewed you. Um, how they judged you. Dog, far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. They want you to know that they're thinking about you. They're thinking about you. They're currently going through something. They, they are feeling um, your absence. And I feel like this person wants forgiveness from you guys here. Okay. So that's what I have for you. And um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Namaste.